I find your lack of faith disturbing. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. These aren't the droids we're looking for. You can go about your business. Move along. Move along. What's cracking, everyone? All right, so it's Sunday, the 30th. Target was dropping, what are they dropping? Their Galaxy Edge Black Series um, figures. So I woke up early. Well, before we get into that, let's talk about Thursday. Um, Funko Shop Virtual Con. Tired of Funko. They're killing me. You go on, you put stuff in your cart, uh, 10 seconds later, you can't go to check out because it's sold out. What the fuck? Um, I had tickets, four day passes to Star Wars Celebration. I should have been one of the first, I should have had the opportunity to purchase first. Everybody that bought tickets to Star Wars Celebration. But hey, what are you gonna do? So I went on and I was only able to get the concept Chewbacca and Starkiller. And that was it. The 10 inch Stormtrooper was out, the Darth Vader, and the Boba Fett. All I, I, the one I really wanted most was the Darth Vader and the Boba Fett. So, yeah, Funko, killing me. So, the next day, they were supposed to drop uh, the Vader at GameStop. So, I went ahead and got up early. Luckily, GameStop opened at 12. So, really, I didn't have to get up early. I just got up early just because. So I went to GameStop, and I was the first one there. No, third one there. Whatever. And I was standing in line, and I was able to get the concept Darth Vader. I think he looks pretty damn cool. He's blue. So let's take him out. I got the last one. So it was one per person, so I was glad they did that. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have got one. So I got this. Oh, and then I also was able to pre-order the 10-inch Stormtrooper on Target. But it's not supposed to come till October. So we'll see. Alrighty, here we go. You can go sit over there. So we got Vader. I think he looks pretty good. Look, I remembered to hit record this time. So he's blue. So, I like it. I like the blue lightsaber. So, but look, I have the carbonized Darth Vader, who's also blue. So, I think that's pretty cool. They're going to look good next to each other. Except, this lightsaber is red and not blue. Hmm. But I like this lightsaber. It's cool. It's called Fat right here. So, anyways, got these. These are good. All right. So, I went to Target. I had one Target open up at 7. So I got there at 6, the first one there. Got to the back. They had nothing on the shelves. Nothing, guys. I asked the lady. They had two Hondos in the back, so she went guys. So I went ahead and got one. So I got one Hondo. So he's pretty cool. So he's also in a four-pack at Disneyland Parks. So if you have the four-pack, it's just a repack of this. But this is on him on his own. So it's just good if you're... Um, if you don't, not in California or Florida... Don't have Disneyland passes or whatnot, so this way you can at least get the exclusive figures. So we got him. Then I drove down to another Target. They opened at eight. I was the second one there, and they opened up. They had nothing in the back. I, I, we asked, and the, there's a couple people they asked, and she brought out what she had, and I was able to get my hands on DJ R3 DJ Rex. Come on, let's let's view this. So that looks good. So, but this packaging, I didn't realize how how big he was. Look, so he's about the size, uh, almost two regular figures. So we got the back there. But yeah, so we got DJ Rex. I don't know why. Oh, I guess maybe because of the arms. I don't know. So we got that. And then they also had the Mountain Trooper. So this one's cool. I wanted to get two, but there was other people there, so I'm not trying to be greedy. 
Uh, it's been my experience with Target exclusives. They're hot at the beginning, and in a couple months they'll restock. So I don't know if that's the, what's going to be the case with these Galaxy Edge ones, but with most Target exclusives, they have restock. So I'm not. I wasn't too concerned. So if I really want another one later on, I will go ahead and buy one the sooner than I'll see it. Okay, and then I went to a third Target. I went to the back toy section. They had nothing out. I asked the lady, like, it says we don't have anything. So I'm walking out, kind of sad. It's like, damn, three out of four. That isn't bad. But then as I looked over at guest services, I saw that they had them out at guest services. So I was able to get this uh, Captain Cardinal, which, I mean, looks okay, I guess. I mean... It looks exactly the same as the Sith Trooper. Well, I guess this helmet's bigger. Oh, I guess the helmet's way bigger. Yeah? I don't know, maybe it's the packaging. No? Okay, so Sith Trooper is a little different. So it's like a first order helmet. And... Okay, so his belt has some black... Instead of all red, it's a different pouch. They put a little cloth cape, I guess, over them. And different guns? And different guns. But, I mean, this got to be pretty much the same. No, it's not the same. That's a First Order Trooper. Damn, where's my First Order Trooper? He's up there. Okay, so it's the same mold as the First Order. So it's not the same as Sith, but it's the First Order. I guess it's kind of lazy. I don't know how I feel about this one. But yeah, so we got that. So I was excited, had a good haul. Took about three hours. But hey, we can do it, right? Toy hunting in the wild is fun, but stressful. But you feel success when you get it. It's a successful hunt, you feel proud. So we got that. Okay, so now for the main thing that we got here. Those were my pickups I got the past couple days. Mm. But then I got this in the mail, and I'm excited about this. It's from GameStop. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Well, I know what it is. You guys don't know what it is, but I know what it is. It's a wearable, and it's a re-release. Um, I didn't get this when it first came out because I wasn't really collecting at the time, I don't believe. Or especially not, or I didn't have, you know. So, packing label? Yes. Yes. Look at it. Oh. Bam. We have Star Wars The Black Series Shadow Trooper Helmet. So I'm excited about this. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up so most of these helmets don't fit my face well they fit but they don't i have to take out the little thingo bobber inside on the head brace thing i don't know so I'm open it up all right assembly required bam and wham. Oh, I have batteries. I'll do the batteries later. So, I got that there. This here. Oh, those eyes. Look at those eyes. They silver. These, this thing here, man. This don't ever fit my head. Come on. Oh, look. See? See? Nope, not even close. Do, 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 do. Okay, so look, it fits like this, but once you put it together, it's not going to fit. Alright, so this just snaps in. It's 
snappy snappy. There's the button, but I have to put batteries in. See, see, not gonna fit, not gonna fit. Never fits. So that's okay though. Do what you can, all right? All right, what side is which? This is the front. He's in the back, okay. Damn. It looks good, right? Black and the silver with the blue. Let's see. Yeah, I hear stuff. So, there we go. How do I look? Can't really see out of it. But I'm excited to add it to my collection. You have the Boba Fett here. It's Dark Vader's over there, and so is the Stormtrooper. So, yep. Oh. It is hot. And they are not made for fat man head, for big man, their heads. So yeah, I'm excited to ask for, you know what, for what they are and the price point, these are pretty good helmets. I mean, they're not the best, they're not the highest, but I mean, for what you're paying, a hundred bucks, I feel like you get your money's worth. All right, that's all I got. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and all that other YouTube stuff. Go ahead and have a good day. Bye.